return to life, living and lusting for bizarre pleasures. <laughs> Vampires. This myth has been around for centuries. From Count Dracula to shining Edward Cullen, vampires are one of the most iconic mythical creatures in the world. And in recent years, there have been countless shows and movies featuring vampires. But what if this wasn't just a myth? What if vampires were real? Our mother is... is a vampire. Okay, no. Not that type of a vampire. What I mean to say is, what if there was a medical condition that made you into a vampire? Well, it just so happens that there is. But it's not the type of vampire you're probably thinking about. Porphyria is a disease that causes a lot of the symptoms that you would associate with vampires. And it all starts with this molecule, heme. Now you may not have heard of heme, but chances are you've heard of hemoglobin. Well, heme is a biomolecule that attaches to the globin protein, and together, they make hemoglobin. Okay, quick lesson time. Hemoglobin is a protein located within our red blood cells and is vital for delivering oxygen to our organs. When oxygen enters into our lungs, oxygen-poor blood goes to our lungs and picks up oxygen. Heme allows our blood cells to actually bind to the oxygen. And once oxygenated, our blood then goes back to our body and supplies our muscles and organs with nutrients and oxygen. Okay, you got it? Good. So, what does this have to do with porphyria? Porphyria is a group of disorders caused by abnormalities in the chemical steps that lead to heme production and cause a buildup of heme precursors. Now, a buildup of these porphyrins or heme precursors can have very harmful effects on the body and can cause people to have very severe symptoms. Most notable of these symptoms are caused by the harmful effects of sunlight. People suffering from Porphyria cutaneous tarda PCT, cannot go into the sunlight directly. If they do, their skin tends to burn and they develop painful blisters on the exposed areas of their skin. And therefore, these victims tend to go out more during the night than they do during the day. People who have porphyria also experience deformed and discolored teeth due to the deposition of these porphyrins and their gums tend to recede causing the appearance of more prominent incisors or the canine teeth. In addition, they also have a loss of skin appendages such as hair and nails and severe scarring of the skin with progressive disappearance of ears, lips, and nose. And finally, Many of these patients cannot even tolerate garlic because garlic actually stimulates the production of heme. Now all of these symptoms highly resemble vampires as we know them, but is this where the myth actually originated? Probably not. Historians do not believe that porphyria was the sole cause of the vampire myth. Vampires have existed throughout history in cultures all over the world and were often a type of demonic creature rather than a human being who rose from the dead only to feed on the blood of the living. However, Porphyria might have given rise to the modern day versions of vampires that we see on TV and movies. This disease was even mentioned in BBC's Ripper Street, and the fact that vampires burn in the sunlight could have actually started from Porphyria. But don't worry, you can't catch this disease by getting bit. Although... There are several diseases you can catch from getting bit, so don't get bit. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked the video, please go down there, click the thumbs up button, and if you want to continue to see more videos like this or just more videos about medicine in general, click the subscribe button above and you know, I'll put up more videos on a regular basis. Also, there's some related videos that you might find interesting next to my face, so go watch those. If you have any comments, or if you have any ideas about topics I should cover, leave a comment below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support, okay? See you soon.